Well, it looks like I've got my work cut out for me on this one. My name is Nick Rudder. Welcome to my garage. On today's episode, I have a 20-year-old Chevrolet Equinox that I'm going to show a host of different ways to detail it. Specifically, how to super clean the windshield, how to remove bug splatter from the front end, how to use a foaming waterless wash to clean the outside without using a bucket or a hose, and last but not least, a clay bar treatment because this vehicle has been sitting outside its entire life. Stay tuned, I'm going to get started on the windshield first, so hang tight and buckle up. So everything I'm going to showcase in this episode will take place in the comfort of a garage. You see, there's a number of different ways to wash your vehicle. The method I'm going to show you is a waterless method. But first, I'm going to super clean the windshield because as you can see, it's covered in bug splatter and road film. Just a regular waterless wash or even a regular car wash is not strong enough to remove this. So the method I'm going to show you involves a couple simple to use products and you can actually take these with you on the road for a road trip to clean your windshield in case you're driving somewhere and you get lots of bug splatter and when you stop to use the restroom or to feed the family, you can quickly clean the windshield. First and foremost, if the glass is hot to the touch, you wanna to let it cool down first. This vehicle is parked in the garage, so the heat is not an issue. I have a roadkill bug remover, which is designed to dissolve bug splatter, not just remove it, but actually dissolve it. It contains a specialized enzyme. And then what I have is a specialized roadkill bug scrubber. This is designed to effectively remove stubborn bug splatter without scratching the surface. So I'm going to take my bug scrubber and I'm going to spray it with the product. And if you're using this on paint, you'd actually soak it in a bucket of water first, but glass is a much harder substrate than paint. So you can spray it directly on the sponge, use it this way, and then gently clean the glass. Now when you're using this, you don't really have to uh, put down too much pressure or use any vigorous work because the chemical is dissolving the bug splatter for you. It's not like you're trying to clean off baked on lasagna from a glass stovetop. Be very gentle with it. And the honeycomb texture of the sponge does all the work for you. So work smart and not hard. And then if you're working on an SUV like this, if you're a shorter person, there's work stands that you can stand on. Or also one thing that I like to do is I'll often open the driver's side door or the passenger side if I'm on that side of the vehicle and do it this way. Gives me a little bit more reach. And then all it takes is a few passes and then take a microfiber towel and simply wipe off the excess. And what we just used is a bug remover. It's not a glass cleaner. So I am going to follow up with a dedicated glass cleaner to remove any residue that's been left behind. So here I have a foaming glass cleaner I always like to use the high quality products and the reason why is because they work better. So if you buy inexpensive glass cleaners, they streak, they smear, they're often not safe for tinted windows. That's really important. Make sure you read the can and they often smell bad too. So get the high quality product. I like to use a Crystal Vision foaming glass cleaner. It's a nice foaming formula. Doesn't smell bad. You'll notice I'm not coughing or hacking. Like anything else, you get what you pay for. And then regarding the towel, this is actually a specialized glass towel. It's a diamond pattern, so it actually is designed to encapsulate the glass cleaner along with any oily road film, and it gets trapped in the towel. What you do not want to use when cleaning glass is a thick, fluffy towel. Thick, fluffy towels, they, they just don't work that well. Leave those for your paint. So I spray the glass cleaner on, and I'm simply going to wipe, clean off the residue, and like I mentioned, this is something that you can do on a road trip while your family goes inside to get a hamburger or hot dog or use the restroom. Um, if you're a car guy like me or if you're just a clean person and you, you wanna keep your windshield clean, you can do this even while you're, you're uh, filling up the gas tank. You know, you have the, um, the filler inside, pumping it full of gas, do this. Now, here's one thing. The inside glass is still dirty. Something that most people struggle with is identifying where there are any streaks. Is it on the outside or is it on the inside? So one tip that I'd like to give you 
is when you clean the outside glass, wipe in one direction. So I'm wiping up and down. When I do the inside glass, I'll wipe in the opposite direction. That way you can identify if there's any streaks or if there's any areas that you possibly missed and versus trying to figure out if it's on the inside or the outside because we've all dealt with that struggle where we're not sure where the glass is smudgy or streaks or maybe there's still some residue that remains. So that's a simple way to clean your windshield on the go to take care of stubborn bug splatter. The next step is to remove stubborn bug splatter from the front end of the vehicle using a foaming cleaner. So I'm going to finish the rest and I'll get right back to it. Hang tight.